So we're in Drumna Drocket and this is Nessie Land. There's two Loch Ness visitor centres uh, discussing Nessie. Uh, the other one's actually closed, it opens tomorrow. So this one is Nessie Land. Fantastic views. And if we're really, really quiet and behave, we might actually get to see not one, but three Nessies. <laughs> yeah. So it's got a car park, there's a hotel attached that has a cafe, um, shop, that kind of thing. I haven't done the exhibition on this one. Uh, but yeah, so there's, there's a couple of options if you want to find out more about the Loch Ness Monster. Really lovely shops in Drumna Drocket and there's also some touristy kind of less expensive shops but this shop has got some beautiful um, things in it. I'll just let you have a quick look in the window. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, there's there's a lot of choice depending on what you're after. So if we were to head out this way it would take us to Inverness and if we were to head out that way it would take us to uh, Fort William. Now this is the Loch Ness Centre. Um, Open, well, the building itself dates from 1882 and it officially reopens tomorrow. I think it's had like a refurbishment. So, yeah, parking's around the back of the building and the exhibition is really good. I've not obviously been to it since it's been refurbished, but I will I will do the exhibition at some point. You also have the Drum the Drop at Hotel, which I'll show you in a second, but just over there you've got Great Glen Distillery. It's a little gin distillery, so I'm going to go in and see if I can have a little look at it for you and let you know what it's like. So here you can see Great Land Distillery, you could do gin tastings, there's a gift shop and there's tours. It was established in 2020. This look, Caledonian Canal. That runs from Fort William to Inverness. So that's the Caledonian gym. So if you just come up the side of the building, you will come into this beautiful little gift shop. And if you're not into gin, you still have to try it. And um, they've got some really interesting flavours. I'll just come round and show you. It's Jacqueline. The still. Here we go. And the staff are fantastic, so if you've got any questions, just ask them. Um, but yeah, if you don't like whiskey, you have to try gin, because that's the other thing we're making now. We've got some of the botanicals that are used. And this is where you can do your tasting. So yeah, if you're passing, you need to stop here. And this is the Great Glen Distillery, established in 20. I'm always saying, remember to look up. But you really have to, when you come in here, you've got to look up as well. Preferably before you've had a tasting, and that way you won't fall over. So as you can see, the Great Glen Distillery is small, but it is definitely worth a visit. And you know, if the weather's warm like it is today, ice cream is on hand. And here you've got the co old coach house, gift shop, messy shop. Uh, here we do breakfast and lunches, there's pizzas. And there's also a cafe around the corner. So there's lots of choice here. So this is uh, a war memorial, uh, just to drum the drum here. video where I take you to see Corrie Money Chambered Cairn. So here we can see the sign for it. So if you're looking for it and you're passing through Drumna Drocket and you want to visit, you just head, <laughs> what's that's out of the way, along that road there. 
and just keep going, it is signposted so you won't miss it. So this is Drumnod Rocket Bridge and you can see there it was widened in 1933. What a view. See Drumnod Rocket's not huge, there's lots of bed and breakfasts, there's the hotel and things, lots of places to eat. So you can just, just ahead of us here, there's lots of places to eat and there's also lots of shops, as you'd imagine, in a place like this. But there's a lovely wee tea room just across, uh, just across the road there. And if you were to head straight down the road, just where the white car is about to turn off, uh, there's a car park and public toilets as well. So there's lots to do, there's lots of things you can do at Drumnod Rocket, as well as go for walks as well.